Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install Java Minecraft on your Steam Deck. So we're gonna go ahead and go into desktop mode. Now that we're in desktop mode, we're gonna open up Discovery, and from here we're gonna search for PolyMC. Go ahead and click install, let it do its thing. Then you're gonna go ahead and open it up and click launch. Then you're gonna go through the installation. So you're gonna pick whatever language you need and then pick the one with the star because that tends to be the most stable build. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna install CurseForge and that's technically against CurseForge's terms of service. So it's really up to you if you wanna go ahead and install that now or if you wanna forgo it. So from here, this is what you're gonna see. At the top left, you'll see add instances. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and add an instance. So the first thing we're actually gonna do is come over here and manage accounts. And here's where you're gonna add your Microsoft or your Mojang account. You need to do this to be able to play. Now we're gonna hit add instances. So this is where you're gonna decide what version of Minecraft you want. You can have vanilla, you can have AT Launcher, CurseForge, etc. Now you can also pick different modded versions as well as different vanilla versions. You can sort by releases, snapshots, old snapshots, betas, alphas, experimentals, and you can add a mod loader if you want. But uh, we're just gonna go with 1.20.4 with no mod loader. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. Now we're gonna have this and we can actually launch this to start playing Minecraft. But before we do that, we're gonna wanna add PolyMC to our Steam so we can play it in game mode. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and open up Steam, go to the library, click add a game, click add a non-Steam game. Then you're gonna have a list of all your applications. You're gonna scroll down, this is an alphabetical order, and click PolyMC and click add selected. So now we can close this out. And before we go into game mode, here's the settings tabs. This is where you can change a bunch of different things like how much RAM you allocate, as well as the language and a bunch of other stuff. So now we're gonna go ahead and go into big picture mode. So now that we're in big picture mode, we're gonna head and go over to the library and go to the non-Steam games, scroll down and we should see PolyMC. And now we can start this up and you'll go straight to that launcher that we were in before. So using the touch screen, we can add more instances but we're actually gonna jump in and launch the instance that we already set up. This is gonna go ahead and do its thing. And now we're in Minecraft. So we can go ahead and uh, go to the options here, go over the video settings. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the max frame rate down to 90, cause that's what my screen can do with this OLED model. We can also scroll down and turn on full screen. We can click done. You can also go to the controls here and mess with different keybinds. I recommend doing that inside the game so you can actually see what you're doing. We're gonna go ahead and open up a single player game create a new world, let that do its thing. Now we're in Minecraft. So right off the bat, my controls are a little wonky. So we're gonna press the Steam button and go over to the controller settings. And we are gonna pick a different controller button layout. So the one I originally had was Poggers. The one you start with is probably gonna be fine for you guys. If it's not, you can go and check out any of the other ones that are available. I'm gonna go ahead and switch mine to keyboard and mouse. And there you go. And now I'm playing Minecraft with the controller. We can go ahead and move around, look around, break stuff build stuff, whatever you want to do. This is full Java Minecraft. We can go into our inventory and we can craft stuff. And the crafting is a lot easier to use since you have the trackpads to move around rather than just the joysticks. You can also use your keyboard and mouse to play, which is actually my preferred method of playing Minecraft. And that just works by connecting your keyboard and mouse through Bluetooth and it just picks it right up since we already have the controller preferences. So yeah, that's how you get Java Minecraft on your Steam Deck. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.